Hey everyone, welcome back to another beginner JavaScript practice video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build out some tabs using JavaScript and HTML. So over here on the right, we have three links. And as you click them, it's actually showing different panels down here. So we have three different panels, A, B, and C. And if I actually show you the inspector here, you'll notice that it's kind of just adding and removing different things to the panels that have them hide or show. So if this is something that you think you can build yourself or you want to try to practice building yourself, I recommend pausing this video, trying to build it yourself. And if you get stuck, come back to the video, watch through it, and try to learn a couple of new things. Because we're going to be covering a couple of things, such as how to query all the elements on the page using a query selector, how to dynamically add and remove classes from DOM elements, and also how to loop over an array of elements using the dot for each method on JavaScript. So if that's something that's interesting to you. Be sure to stick around. And also, if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe button and that bell icon because I'm going to have other videos like this that should hopefully help you become a better JavaScript developer. All right, let's just dive into this. All right, let's just go ahead and build out an index file. And I'm going to go ahead and convert the title to tabs. And we should see that pop up in the top here. So we are set up and ready to develop. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first kind of create maybe three tabs, right? The idea of this video is we try to build out a tabs component where we can change tabs. And as you click different tabs, content will change on the page. So in order to do that, let's just go ahead and build out, we could say three um, links or buttons, it doesn't really matter. So I'll make a link here with a hashtag for an href. And I'm going to put like tab A in it. And make sure that this shows up on the page. So if you click it, Notice that it does redirect you to a, a hashtag here, but we actually want to run some JavaScript logic when you click these tabs. So let's just go ahead and make a couple more tabs. Let's do like tab B and we're going to do a tab C here. All right, so we have tab A, B, and C. And we can style this in a bit to make it look nicer, but the main goal is I want to show you the JavaScript logic behind how do you change content based on the tab that is actually clicked. And there's probably a hundred different ways you can do this, so just keep that in mind. If I show you one way that doesn't really click in your head, there's probably a different way you could do this. Um, but yeah, so we have these tabs and what we also probably need to do is build out some content. So every tab is going to be kind of tied to a, a panel one to one. And you could just make some different divs and give them IDs. So I could like ID of tab A, I guess. I'll make a div like this. And I'm going to say I am tab A. Or I'm going to say I am panel A. Let me rename these the panels. And I'm going to go ahead and just change these so we can actually verify that the right thing is showing up. Oops. Okay, so now we have three tabs and those tabs have, or we also have three panels, right? So I'm going to tie these tabs into these panels and make sure that whenever you click on a tab, it's only going to show whatever panel that should be opened. So starting off, what I would do is we only want one tab to be selected. So when your page first loads, you should probably just have the first tab selected. So we could do that with a little bit of styling. So up in the header here, I'm going to say style. And I'm going to add a style in, uh, opening and closing tag. And we are going to basically just add a class called hide, right? This is the, the easiest way I can think about doing this. And inside that class, I'm going to say display of none. So on the panels A or B and C, we're just going to default those to be hidden. So I'm going to say class of hide. This is how you can basically tell those panels to not show up on the page just by simply giving them some, you know, some CSS to make them display of none. So the idea is when you click on these different tabs, we are going to go through and hide everything and then just show the tab that we're interested in. Um, so one thing that we're going to have to also probably do is add additional classes to these divs. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a class here and I'm going to call this panel. Bear with me, this will all make sense in a second, but this is just so that we have a way to basically query the page for all panels and to kind of hide and show the ones that we want. All right, so if you're still kind of with me and you still understand what's going on, I'm going to do a real quick recap. We made three tabs, we made three panels, two of them are hidden by default so they don't show up on the page. And then we also added a class called panel to all the panels so that we can query for them. So in the code, we actually need to start writing some scripts now. So down here, I'm going to add a script opening and closing tag. And in here, we can actually start writing some JavaScript. So what we want to do is when a user clicks on one of these tabs, we probably want to call a function. 
So one way you can do that is you could just add an on click listener to these. So I'm gonna say on click, and that's gonna call a function called like show tab. And we're gonna basically pass an argument to all these. So if you click on tab A, we want to show panel A. All right, let me rename this, I'm sorry. This will be called show panel. This will make more sense if I call it show panel. And inside of these function calls, I think we need to do single quotes here. We are gonna basically pass in panel A, panel B, or panel C, okay? So what that does is it allows our JavaScript to know which panel we actually need to open. So I'm gonna make a function down here, which is gonna be called show panel, and that's gonna take in an argument called panel. And that is the, the panel ID, I guess I should say. So I'm gonna say panel ID. So let's just make sure that this works. I'm gonna print out the panel ID, and if you click on these different tabs, You'll notice that it does print out A, B, and C down here. So this seems to be working pretty good. So the first thing we need to do is when you click on a new tab, basically just hide the showing or hide the existing tab. Uh, one way you can do this, I don't know if it's the most efficient way, is you could just query the page for every class that has panel, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say document, which happens to be a object that exists on the browser. It's like a global object. And this has a bunch of methods on it. One method is get, uh, one method is actually called query selector all. And you can pass it a class and that'll give you all the elements that happen to have that class on it. So this will give us back an array of three elements, one, two, three. And we can loop through them. If you understand for loops, you can loop through them and basically hide all the panels by default. So I'm gonna say const all panels. I'm gonna spell that wrong. And we have all the panels here. Let me just go ahead and give you more real estate so you can see what I'm typing. So get all the panels, and now we need to loop through all the panels one by one and basically add in the hidden class. So hopefully you understand how to do a for loop. You can do a traditional for of for loop, but I'm gonna do a panels dot for each. I believe this should work. And for each panel, I'm just gonna basically say panel dot class list dot add hide. Okay, so again, what this is doing, let me make sure I don't have a syntax error. I'm missing a parenthesis here. What this is doing again is just hiding all the panel elements by adding a class. So if I click this, you'll notice that it actually hides tab A now because tab A started with no hidden class and now we just added it. So the next step is we actually just wanna show one panel, okay? So how do you do that? Well, we know which panel the user is trying to open because they passed in the panel ID when they clicked on the tab. So we can just do a document.get element by ID. We could pass in the um, panel ID. And very similar to this, we could just do a class list add or remove. I'm gonna go ahead and do a class list of remove and I'm gonna remove hide. So if that panel happens to have hide on it, just go ahead and remove it so that we can show it. All right, so now if you click through tab A, tab B and tab C, you'll notice that we're switching the content based on which tab has been opened. And that's really all there is to it. I mean, you could probably do this a different way, but looping over three panels is not that good. It's not gonna be an issue in terms of performance. Like this is gonna be really quick. Um, but yeah, that's about it. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up because it helps my channel grow. Also leave a comment below if there's a different way that you would recommend doing this or if you have a different idea of what I could kind of build for you live and show you and walk you through in a tutorial video. And like always, if you're new to this channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and bell icon because I'm gonna have other videos like this that should hopefully help you become a better JavaScript developer and web developer in the future. All right, thank you so much for watching and happy coding.